friends, it is Miss Fushi, and we are back with Life is Strange. On the last episode, we um, stayed over with Chloe and watched Blade Runner and then talked to her father, and she told us to go get her some morphine from upstairs, so we're currently exploring her house in this other future that we've made for her. Mm. So, her dad is so sad about things. It makes me so sad. Let's see. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Oh, that's because they had spare change there before. Let's see. I'm going to explore the house a little bit to see if we can find more information Choices about what's going on. Choices of food coupon boss. She is. I need to learn how to use coupons. I was talking to someone about this. I just don't really use them. But I should. Alright. What's this, flyers? Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Must be trying to make back money for taking care of Chloe. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. I hate that. Uh, it's not covering any of Chloe's procedures or anything like that. Let's go upstairs, guys. I wonder what Chloe's old bedroom is being used for. Sure looks really dreary up here. Well, there's the bathroom. I don't want to go in there yet. Let's go in Chloe's old room. Well, that's sad. Sorry for <laughs> fixing my webcam. Okay, um, there's a poster here. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Or maybe not. At least we never had to hide from step douche. No, I don't think so. I never heard much about William's brother. Let's see. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. It's so sad. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Now she can't really use them anymore. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Oh, it doesn't let us open it, though. What's this? Oh. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. There's so much sadness going on, guys. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. All right. There's the height chart. I guess we stopped growing up together. It's so sad. All right, let's go ahead and sit and think about stuff. <sighs> I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. It would be. But then I see that they're a family again. Who am I to judge? Well, you already did judge, Max. It's hard, because we already made a choice for her, and now we have to make a choice for her again. We took away her ability to kind of just have her future. Is this one open? Oh! Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hey, Joyce. I'm gonna snoop in your room real quick before I talk to you. 
William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. So sad. Let's see, is that what we looked? That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. She's getting to be outside. Look at them. Aww. They have no idea what's in their future. That's so sad. Anything over here? There's a letter. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that reality, the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. That's so sad. And there's a train currently going by my apartment, so if you hear that, that's what it is. A very Joyce emotional- Joyce is already a super mom. A very emotional train. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Let's see what Joyce has to say, guys. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Chloe needs help, or I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Uh, Chloe and William? Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she <laughs> usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Hmm. Huh. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, m might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... Curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Uh, ego havoc. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this ego havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a 
part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Aw, okay. So we learned more about what's going on with Joyce and... and everything. In this alternative future, she has no relationship with David, so she doesn't know anything about him. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Yeah, okay. Is the last room gonna be the bathroom? Anything else? Nope. All right, guys. Bathroom and our glowing, our glowing pants. Our different clothes, let's see. Do we need to turn on the light first? Yeah, I thought so, because we can't see anything. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I was just standing a little too close to it. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. I think she might too, or it's just a little darker around her eyes. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Are we gonna have to give it to her? Cause I'll... The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yeah. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Yeah, that's good. See anything else we need in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's be let's be nature con like conservative. Energy conservative. Especially since the whole world's going to crap. Whales are dying and birds are dying, but we might as well save electricity. Okay. Let's go back to Chloe, guys. I am lay sad. Matias, be a good boy. He's down there. Oh, I just noticed she had a uh, one of those rocks. Those salt rocks. I got your morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Okay. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay. A photo album. Are they over here? Yes, they are. Did we already go in these drawers, guys? Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Chloe is a pretty girl, even though she's, you know, It's cool confused. that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Let's see. Next drawer. Uh. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. She got what really good grades. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Let's see. It's a long stuff. They're saying they don't have the... They don't have the renovations necessary for her to be on campus with a wheelchair. That's horrible. Saying that she should go to a school that can cater to her needs instead of Blackwell. That's awful. Let's take that. Is this a picture we already saw? Nope, I want to look at the picture. I'm glad I took this photo. Yeah. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. I got your picture album.
I want to see him too. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Let's see. Are we going to be able to go into any of these pictures? Or just look at them? Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Okay. Next page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. Because it was. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Oh no, you understand? Chloe. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, no, guys, no. Oh God. Oh God. Can we go back in time at this choice? Cause she wants she wants to go. We've put her in this pain. Can we go back in time and reset everything? Cause I don't want to just like take our life. That's so horrible. What if I say I don't know? What's she gonna do? Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. I mean, if we take her life, we could always go back and give it back to her, can't we? But Kate died. And she stayed. Died. Oh, God. And she's suffering so much. But she's also under the influence of morphine right now. And that's a drug that makes her think differently. But she doesn't seem happy. But then I would be letting her make a choice for the first time since I didn't let her make a choice about her father. Okay. 
Well, this doesn't designate what I would do in real life. Okay, guys? Because I've never been in this kind of situation before. But I want to see what happens. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. I'm sorry, guys. That's so sad. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. That's horrible. And now she's gone. I guess we can go back in time. Right? I'm sorry, William. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, guys. Let's go back. Because we can't let this be Chloe's life. Okay, come on. Got it. Let's go back. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? <sighs> hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. Oh. Now we can't go back at all, guys. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised uh... to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Goodbye, Max, William. You'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, God. I'm getting like to the moon feels right now. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. Aww. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Damn. So now William is gone. <sighs> That's so sad.
she didn't get in a car accident, but now William has to go. And now we're back. Okay, guys. We have returned. To normal, it seems like. Or for the most part. That was a very painful and sad part of the story. You got to see Chloe without all, like, the bullshit and the punk stuff she's got going on now and kind of see her as a real person. And I like that version of Chloe, Chloe a lot. you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. <sighs> okay. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Fantastic. So, oh, look at that illustration on the corner. The right-hand corner, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness, so that was the biggest ball of sadness. Um, one of the biggest balls of sadness I feel like we've experienced so far. That was really painful and horrible. And oh my gosh. But I'm glad that we turned things back to normal and we're proceeding with the story here. Um, I don't know what future is better, but the, that one was just so much slow suffering that it almost came off as more painful than the quick, her father's gone and then she has to move on kind of thing. So... Yeah, I will go ahead and stop this episode here now that we've gotten to something happy and we're back to goodness and we're all feeling good and great and that's exciting. And in the next episode, we will pick up here and look at the board and discover the secrets. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, leave a thumbs up down below, leave a comment and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next episode of Life is Strange. Bye-bye. Choo <laughs> choo